in the Lord it's like all day we've been traveling bus train we went in the streets of London singing worshiping the Lord it's amazing worshiping the Lord for all day singing and um, we've been asking the Lord to help us to to share his word people and the reason we are doing that I want you to understand our ministry is based in the Word of God we understood the message of our Lord Jesus Christ we understood why Jesus sent his disciples in the streets you don't he did not send them in the churches. He said, go all nations and preach the gospel to every creature, and he who believes shall be saved. I want to read for you I want to read for you a scripture from the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse Twenty-five. Twenty-seven. Let me close the window. Just one second. Closing the window because some people smoking drugs, my neighbors smelling. I close the window. I just come out with drugs years ago, so I don't like the smell. Um, there's another one in the bathroom. I need to close it. Just wait for me one second. You see, um, if I'll tell people to stop smoking drugs, maybe they'll get angry with me. Who knows what, how it's going to end. But it's the will of our Lord Jesus Christ to tell people to repent. So in the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 25 to 27, he says this, Once the owner of the house gets up, and close the door. You will stand outside knocking and pleading, pleasing, Sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, We are teeth and drunk with you, and you told in our streets. Let me read my translation, my language. I can translate better, explain to you to understand. When the master will rise and will close the door, you will stand outside, you will knock the door saying, Lord, Lord, please open. And he will answer to them, I don't know where you're coming from. And then you will say, we have eaten and drink in the front of you, and you have teaching the people on our streets. And he will answer, depart from me, all the unrighteous.
righteousness workers. You see, we discover that these people who reject Jesus Christ, they knew already that Jesus he was in the streets teaching the people. They knew already about Jesus. He said, we saw you in our streets teaching the people. But we rejected you. You see, I believe with all my heart, we as the children of God, when we go on the streets to teach people the ways of God, the people, they know who we are. They know. Even Jesus said, because of my name, they will hate you. Because of my name, they will persecute you. So I know already the people, they know who we are. We are of Christ. And the Lord Jesus, he say, when I will shut the door, you will be outside, knocking the door. Asking me, pleasing me to open for you. And I will answer you, I don't know you. Depart from me, unrighteous, evil workers. So, You can see by yourself in the streets of your city, in the streets of your town, how people work on righteousness, evil. As you go on the streets of uh, America, you can see people with the guns, with them, drugs, dealing, uh, prostitutes. And um, Jesus. is passing by every street teaching the people the ways of God. People have free will if they want to accept the ways of God. They will come to repentance to Jesus and they start new life by obeying obedience the word of God. If people they don't want to receive, they don't want to accept the way that Jesus teaches us, it's up to them. But one day the door will be shut. So as much as the door is open for the heavenly kingdom, we are going out, teaching people the ways of God, teaching the Muslims, teaching the everybody. That's what we do. And it's not easy. It's not easy. But with God, all things are possible. I give thanks to God because He's given me His grace, His Spirit upon my life to be able to stand firm, to stand on my feet and to ministry to the people. As you can see in the videos, this is a work of God work of God. I encourage you, my dear brothers and sisters, if you want to, like the famous pastors, are asking for partners. I'm not saying if you want to be my partner. I'm saying if you want to be my brother and my sister in Christ, I'm not looking for partners. I'm looking for brothers and sisters who wants to pray for this ministry. This ministry is called Winning Souls Ministry for Christ. All what we do, we do for Christ. Because Jesus has done for us everything. And now we are doing for Him. For He said, follow me. For He says, come unto me. So we came to Him. And Jesus, he gave us new job to work for his kingdom. So we are working for Jesus, for the kingdom of heaven. It would be very nice of you if you can pray.
for these people, God will touch their hearts to receive salvation. You see, we we'll minister to the people with the word of God. We we'll also pray for them. Maybe you have no time to come over. Maybe you have no courage to minister to the people with the word of God. But you can do one thing. Support us with your prayers. Support us with your prayers. Christians, they need to wake up. The door is still open. So we need to go out there and win need souls. Imagine if you will be one of them who doesn't know Jesus. As I was one of them, I was in the world, clubs, promoting nightclubs, drugs, and somebody came in the middle night preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in central London in the night. Uh, when I saw this man, I realized that God is speaking to me. I realized that the Lord is calling me to repentance. So I went to him, I repent, and I begin to promote for Jesus. So I was lost and I was found. You see? So it is because that man, he wanted to serve God. And when you want to serve God, God, God is with you. You will not go alone. When you decide, God, I want to serve you, the Lord God will help you. So please, um, me to stand up and preach the gospel. Look how many Muslims, for example, you look to this uh, Islamic state, how many thousands of people gathered together to do what? To kill. We should gather all together as a Christians to do what? To preach the gospel. To preach repentance. That's what we need to do. The one side are the people who wants to kill, and the other side to be a people who preach repentance. That would be fantastic. We need to preach repentance. That's why Jesus came to preach repentance to the sinners. He did not say, don't worry, you'll be fine, I'll forgive you anyway. He does not say that. He said, repent. For Jesus declared very clear when he sent his disciples uh, to preach the word of God. I'll read it for you. Matthew 28, verse 18. He said, all the power has given to me in heaven and the earth. You need to believe the power belongs to Jesus. Not to the Islamic state. Not to the different religious people. The power belongs to Jesus. Go and make disciples. In all nations. Go and make disciples. You see. To make disciples. Is a bit of work. But I want to read. From the Gospel of Mark, another translation for you to understand. Go into all the world and preach the Gospel to every creation. He who believes and will be baptized will be saved. The Gospel of Luke, again, he says, to be preaching in his name Repentance and forgiveness of sin. You see, so first we need to preach repentance and they shall be forgiven. That's what we want to do. We really want you, my brothers and my sisters, stop being deceived by the devil churches, the devil deceive you, oh you'll be fine, you'll be this, you'll be blessed, you'll be that, no, before you'll be blessed, you need to do the work of God, you need to pray for the souls to be saved, you need to pray to God, look in the book of Acts, the church prayed to God, God sent people out there to preach the word, God give them strength, the power, your servants to preach the word. That's what you're supposed to do. The 
Lord Jesus is not interested in famous people in the church. Everybody become famous, proud of themselves. The Lord doesn't make you rich to have a nice car and to have a luxury house. If that's what you expect from God, I don't expect that from God. I expect from God. Souls shall be saved. They shall be saved from the hellfire. They shall come to heaven. So please, stand firm. Stand up in your feet, in your knee, wherever, and pray. And God bless you, and the Lord God be with you.